Sandra just asked a good question on my cover reveal. Um, this is Swim Jim, uh, my debut picture book is coming out May of 2022. And the question was, are you working 100% digital or is this hybrid? What program do you use? Any favorite brushes? Love the textures. And um, she's trying to figure out how to achieve a similar look in her watercolor, similar to her watercolor, but digital. Yeah, it, t it takes it takes a few different things. Um, a lot of that has to do with the brushes. So I am working in Photoshop. Um, I can show you with something that's on my desktop right now. I'm doing a drawing of a little girl named Quinn, and I'm having her fly on the back of bats. Very Halloween-y little piece. I always start in my sketchbook. My brain works better on paper with pencil. Um, it's super messy. I, I see all this smudging and erasing and everything. And once I get it to the point that... I, I think it's working pretty well, good strong silhouettes, um, pretty good composition, then I will take it into Photoshop. So um, this is where I'm at in Photoshop with this one. Um, I'm just doing black and white, but you can see all the same textures, um, texture in the background as well. So how I'm achieving that is um, I am using textural brushes. So my favorite right now is Bad Mower. Um, I draw with shapes a lot, so I'm going to take the selection tool. I'll just show you an example. I'm going to pick up this brush and make sure I'm a layer that I can actually draw on. And I'm just going to fill it in. So, you know, I'm doing a lot of this kind of, you can see it, how that's happening in the wing. Um, so I'm just picking up colors with, I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm using the Alt key to pick up um, color and in this case just value and add it in. So that is how I'm creating that texture primarily. So you're going to see some of the pencil shine through. So it's going to look a little bit like a hand done drawing, but it's also, you know, has that, that brush texture. Um, for a long time is using Dale Hayes. Dale Hayes is great because um, this is a grunt brush because if it goes really small, it looks like a like a pencil and if it goes larger it looks like pastel so it's a nice flexible brush to get those um, good textural uh, real brush feel um, I really like this Kyle's real brush massive random for anything watercolor um, and I just let me just grab a new canvas here and I can show you with some color let's grab some color um, how about this nice pink color? So I'm on a new layer. I am using this massive brush and you'll see, you know, so part of it is that the brush is doing a lot of the work of making it look like watercolor. But then the other thing is just your canvases. So this blends pretty nice. You can also go in with um, different blending tools to, you know, smudge tool or other blending tools. Of course, that's on a... Um, on an impressionist blender, but you would go to a watercolor blender and get that technique. And then the other thing is just using canvases. So you can see that already here, I have set up a canvas and this is taking all the color out of it because it's on a color layer. But um, all this is, if I show you normal, um, I took a picture of canvas. I also laid in a picture of gravel. So that adds in this extra texture. And I put one of those layers on top Usually, usually it'll be overlay, but you can play with your different layers. See the difference between between having the canvas and not having the canvas. Um, and I always put a canvas on the bottom as well. So the texture is on top on a lower opacity, usually depending on what I'm using for the layer style. Um, and then you will get more of that textural feel to it. But a lot of it has to do with just playing around with different brush options and finding out which ones work best for you. Um, you know, and what, what works best. A lot of times I will take a watercolor um, original watercolor painting, just do a small one on watercolor paper and then take it into Photoshop. And that's where I do my fixing and tweaking and repairing. But hopefully that answers your questions. And I'm really glad you like the artwork and have fun playing around with your techniques.